Say things. Hey, hello. Are we ready? I think so. Rolling. Yes. Ready? Yes. What's cracking like a y'all? Do that again, only don't scream at me. <laughs> that was terrifying. <laughs> yeah. Love it. What's cracking like a y'all? That's better. And Ben Newhouse, owner, proprietor, Snake Oil Provisions in Long Beach, California. This is SOP Digest. It is. Hey. What are we gonna talk about today, Ben? Well, first of all, this is season four. Episode. How, how did we arrive at that? I just made it up. Okay, season, good. season four, episode one. Yeah. So if you're looking at your call sheet, yeah, it'll say zero four zero one. Right. Nine a.m. call time. That's right. Nine thirty. Put your pantaloons on. Yes. And be on the set. Yes. So we've been gone a while. Here's why. Super busy. I don't know if you've heard. We opened a ladies store. SnakeEyeSociety.com. There's probably a URL under my magic hands. I'm not going to do that. Oh. Are you going to do that? <laughs> Maybe above my magic hands. Okay. Uh, Mr. Uncle Peasy had a bunch of projects he was doing. It's true. But check it out. We've aligned again. Yes. So we're going to do this a lot more often. So we're back. This time with Lair. How do you spell that? L-A-E-R. They make jackets, don't they? That's exactly right. All right. Here's what I'm going to tell you right now. Yeah. With all of my years of wisdom and expertise. This, is, this for, won't take long. Hey. Hey, no. <laughs> there is no other jacket in this price point that can be even uh, contested with these. Okay. It's a fine garment. Oh, it's, it's out of control. Uh, launched in 2014. By Mr. Jared Cornish, who you may have heard of. He's a wizard in design and production. He used to own a factory that made Double RL, Navy C. What did I say? Navy C. Navy, Navy C. He made Navy SEALs. <laughs> <laughs> That's where L those come from. LVC, Supreme. He was the creative director and visionary between a little brand called Yeezy. You may have heard of that. Is that Kanye? Uh, yeah, but that didn't work out. All right. Uh, so the deal is. So his name's not Lair. No. Okay. No, it's not his actual name. I understand. His name is Jared. Okay. He, this man, set out to make the uh, what I think is the perfect asymmetrical leather jacket. Okay. Here's why. Here's why it's perfect. Yeah. I'm gonna tell you right now. Go ahead. It walks the line. I know I've, I've said this on the Instagrams many times. I'm gonna tell. I'm gonna say it again right now. Walks the line between fashion and rideability. On your motorcycle. Yeah, that's right. Okay. So aside from it being like the perfect weight, the perfect fit, it goes with literally everything in anybody's closet. It really suits the bike, incredibly so. That's what do you mean? Uh, I'm, I'm going to tell you exactly what I mean. Yeah. The weight of the letter, first of all, uh, it's not too heavy, which a lot of the competing brands are. Um, there's no break-in. We'll get to that in a minute because the leathers are top-notch premium the fit though it's not it's just slim enough so you, it looks great with just a t-shirt which I wear it like that all the time mm -hmm. but you can layer under it quite a bit too like I got my ISC work shirt on right now looks great you can see the luxurious taper of the sleeves that's Marisi's favorite part that's a nice taper it is um, and my reach so a lot of my other jackets the sleeves are too short I got, I'm gonna turn around. Yeah. I got the action back. Ooh. See it? Yeah. See it, the gussets? Yeah, what, what's a gusset? Uh, so the, it's got that little extra section in the shoulder. Yeah. So I can go whoop. I never knew what that was called. Action back. All right, gussets. So, yeah, so a lot of leather jackets, like your fashion jackets, don't have that. Yeah. So when you go to reach your bars, you get stuck. He, does Jared ride a motorcycle? He does. There you he, go. he grew up riding dirt bikes. Yeah. So he knows. Yes, he does. Um, also, he's a totally sweet man. Okay. He's incredibly smart. He's kind of eccentric. Are you man crushing on him? A little bit. Okay. He's a good looking dude. Sure. And he has a little pom pom named Bree. Pomeranian? Yes. That's, does she little, ride on the bike? 
Uh, I hope so. Yeah. Little white pom pom. With a little helmet. Uh, so, some details about these to make you uh, long for them. I'm, I'm already there, but go ahead. I know. Small batch production in Los Angeles. Okay. F start to finish, everything's made in LA. Nice. I know. Uh, he has a team of like five or six sewers. His main guy has been with him for 15 years. What's his name? Uh, I want to say it's Romeo, but I don't know. Okay. Uh, so all the leathers are sourced from Italy and or Japan. Nice. Every single leather on every single jacket that we stock is aniline. What's that mean? Well, we're not going to get super nerdy, yeah. but I'm going to give you some bullet points. Yeah, yeah, no, just give me the, the yeah. Uh, so only strictly the best hides can be aniline dyed. Yeah. So aniline is so, uh, water soluble. Uh huh. So most leather dyes are real thick like paint. You just roll it on. Okay. And it'll, it'll kind of fill in like all blemishes and texture and like scars and everything. So you can have like kind of a shitty hide, but you can still use it for a really nice jacket. Yeah, yeah. Cannot use that with aniline. Okay. The, the hides themselves to begin with have to be ace titties. Okay. Because. Has anybody the, trademarked that yet? I don't know. Ace we titties? Sh we should look at that. Yeah. The finished product, you still see, we'll get in there, we'll get a tighter shot. But you can, see, you can still see all the natural grain in the hide. Okay. So you get all that pebbly. This is all real. Okay. So a lot of things, people cheat and they'll take like a shitty hide that they've painted and they wash it and they throw it in a tumbler. Okay. To get this. Yeah. But this is natural. Gotcha. See, now I think uh, that was a worthy digression. Okay. We, I think we needed to hear that. All right. Go ahead. And on the inside, they don't cheat. Yeah. It's the same leather. Nice. You feel me? Yeah, I do. Uh, and I'm going to tell you why that's important. Because when Ray from the Black Acre says, yo, these are fucking legit. Mm -hmm. I'm going to tell you why. Yeah. He said, this is the same leather as the outside. Yeah. Nobody does that. Okay. Ray said that. Ray. Yeah. I trust Ray. Okay. What's Ray's last name? Landsberg. Okay. Yeah. It's my new leather expert guy. Well, yeah. He's the best in the biz. Yeah, go ahead. So we do, we've got this one. This is like the SOP signature, the black with gold hardware. Right. That was made for you? Well, he, me and Reezy went up to his uh, HQ in LA. Yeah. And he had a sample of this. Yeah. And he has never offered it. Right. And I was like, yo, can we fucking get those? And he said, yeah. Yeah. And then I ordered them. And then we got them. Nice. We also do them in black, black, which if you look from camera B, maybe you can see it. That's this one. I can't see camera B right now, but I'll take the word. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> we'll trust that it's on there. I believe and then uh, white and nickel. Okay. If you're trying to get your evil Knievel on. Okay. Uh, other really important thing. Yeah. We are currently the only layer retailer in the world. What? I know. I thought you were going to say United States. No, globally. Shut up. I know. Launched in 2014. Yeah. They only ever sold direct. Uh, and then I found him on some internet travels. I kind of reached out blindly because okay. I liked how the brand was presented. I liked the story. I liked the really small global footprint. Yeah. What? Talk about the footprint. The footprint. Reezy's saying talk about the footprint. Uh, By the way, Reezy's in the video. Via that mirror right there. <laughs> <laughs> Should I, should I blur out her face? Yes. Yeah, put, like digitize it? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so yeah, it's an impossibly small global footprint. So he, uh, like I said, everything is made in LA. When he can, he has a leather supplier. He gets in it from LA. Hardware supplied from LA. Yeah. They're cut and sewn and finished in LA. Right. And then he brings them down from LA. He brings them here? Yeah. Nice. I know. Hand He's delivers like the one-stop shopping So guy. like you're, you're your carbon footprint is like literally this big. Nice. So you can feel good about that. Yeah. And then also when you get you a jacket, it'll last you 12 lifetimes. So it never goes in a landfill. Right. You can pass it on down to your babies and they babies. Okay. You feel me? Yeah, I do. I like that. Uh, it's a legacy garment. Sure. Heirloom. If you yeah. want to use that cliche. That's, no, that's good. Sure. So if you have a lot of leather jackets, what do you like the most about wearing that one? Oh, that's an excellent question. So Reezy asked me what I like about wearing this jacket. Yeah. I can't stress the fit enough. So I've pro I probably got this three months ago. I've literally worn it every day. It looks like part of your body. It does. It's like there's, we say that there's no break in because there isn't. You can take it off the rack, wear it for the rest of your life and feel like a million bucks. Yeah. Does the whole it, team have layers now? Yeah, all of us, all, literally all of us do. 
Some of us multiple layers. I don't. I got Five. you. Five of us now. Little Boo Boo, Bob, Chelsea, everybody has them. Who's Little Boo Boo? Steven. Well. Steven. Little Boo Boo. From the Yogi Bear we, cartoons? No, we got a rap group. Okay. Well, it's Little Boo Boo and Thuggy Ron. Are we going to have that in the video one yeah. day? Yeah. All right. Yeah, we're going to drop our first hit. Nice. Uh, it's fit, truly. I mean, we, everything we do in here is fit first. We stress the fit before anything. I love that. Uh, before details or fabric or any of that shit. Fit first. Uh, it's, zip it up and, uh, let's zip it up. I can't don't, go. Don't zip it up to all the way I to can't, the microphone. I got a mic, though. We, we, we can plug in a shot where it's all, all zipped up with no mic. Oh, he's got a little belt there. I thought you was taking your pants off. Well, they say maybe, they maybe say I will eat, later. Eat that kind of show. Yeah. So here it is zipped. Um, it, uh, oh, there's no breaking, but it does. It has completely conformed to my body. Yes. If you feel me. I do. So it stretched where it needed to, through the shoulders, through the elbow. Uh, I've worn it a lot on the bike and in the elements, so the sheen is worn off a little bit. You can really tell I've worn the absolute piss out of it. Um, the uh, hardware has dulled a skosh. Can you unzip it again? Yes. All right. It's really telling a nice story when you think about it. It's beautiful. We, it is. It truly is. So we offer, like I said, we got three for boys and we got four for ladies. Four ladies? Four for ladies. Yeah. Over at the lady shop? Over at the lady shop. Yeah. Snake Eye Society. I love it. Yes. I'm not putting that in. <laughs> Prick. Yeah. Um, so, I think we've encapsulated our love for Lair today. We have. You're, you're, you're running out of energy. Give me a really wow finish. Woo! Not that wow. I'm feeling good. You are. The, sh the show's back. Yeah. Fucking love the jackets. Yeah. We've got uh, all kinds of incredible episodes planned, celebrity guests, product reveals. We're going to take a tour over at the SES. We're going to walk over there, say hi to Chelsea and Reezy. Oh, I thought you said the CVS. We're going to go to the CVS. <laughs> We're going to get some get some suit swabs. Get some, got to get some suit fed yeah. There's grumblings of a party. Okay. There's internet, there's internet murmurs yes. of events. Yes. I know for one, one of them is going to be a monumental grand opening of Snake Eyes. Society. That's right. Yeah. You'll all want to be there. Yes. Uh, of course, we're already planning our five-year November. Uh-huh. Which is going to be out of control. Of course. I assure you. Yes. You'll be there. I will. I'm always there. That's very charming. People say to me, why can't Ben get a lady? <laughs> no. No. Who would say that? I don't know. Uh, on that note, that's it. I'm calling it. Say bye-bye. Bye, everybody.